Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we're playing some more uh, GTA Manhunt and this time we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint. As usual I'm playing the prey and I've managed to find myself a good car after um, after a missed yes, a false start at the beginning when I uh, I picked up a, a Mana Mana instead of a um, just because it was there and available. I've got myself in a reasonably nondescript skin. I don't think anyone's seen this one before, and it doesn't stand out like the um, now infamous girl in a bikini skin did. So this should be quite a good one, I I hope. Uh, the car's quite good. It's a, it's, the, it's the Felon, which is one of the uh, coupe class. It's not as subtle as the Oracle, but I believe it is also it is a better car. And there is a bus parked in the junction right in front of me. So let's uh, get that out of the way and then we can carry on. Okay, so my first checkpoint is at the Life Invader building. Now, I've never approached a checkpoint here before, so I don't really know what the best way to do it would be. Hello. Let's have a quick look at the map. Um, if I can press the right button, here we go. So, the obvious way would be to go along one of these major roads here. So, the let's see, the, um, the hunters know that I start in the ghetto, but I've moved fairly quickly to get away from there. So, I think I could probably turn right here and head along this main road towards it and then sort of try and turn right along one of the yeah one of the roads along there uh, that's not for me let's see if I go the other way although you know what it's quiet I don't care I'm going to go anyway so there's life invader it's that red red building up ahead of me that's there the the sign outside the front of their building the uh, checkpoint I'm going for, as you can see on the on the mini map and on actually on both of the maps, on screen maps at the moment. <laughs> Maybe I should start putting one map over the top of the other one. Um, the the uh, checkpoint is just on the other side of it, around around to the right. So I'm thinking if I go around it on the left hand side, that's going to be slightly less obvious. I can then hang a right at the junction and head down to pick it up on the on the diagonal road that goes across. I think that's probably quite a good way of approaching it. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes as I get there, but um, cautiously optimistic about it. And there's cars doing the, uh, the squeezing around past me thing again, which is really annoying. Uh, let's turn the radio off so I don't dance in my seat, because whilst, whilst the AIs do dance in their seat quite a bit, because they listen to the radio as well, um, it's one of those things that gets hunters suspicious, and I don't really want to get the hunters suspicious if I can avoid it. Also, driving at the wrong speed is not going to help either. So we can head along here. There's oop, there's an orange car over there. That's Mike. Hopefully, he's not going to notice this car coming around here. We've made a slight change to the um, the way the game works, though. So now, when I go through the uh, checkpoint, I press and hold a button to take the checkpoint, rather than um, oh dear. Rather, so as I was saying, I have to press and hold a button to take the checkpoint, rather than just um, tr t rather than just touching it, and that me that gives me an extra extra sort of bit of tactical stuff I can play with, because as I, as I, I don't know if you noticed that time, but instead of taking it as soon as I touched it, I waited and I waited at the traffic lights in the hope that they hadn't noticed me. Now it turns out they had recognised me, and I'm not quite sure what gave me away, but uh, Mike came round for a good nuzzle, and I saw him getting out of the car, so I thought it's definitely time to get out of here. Uh, but uh, let's go through here, I'm trying to avoid the rocks, and then I can do a right turn onto the highway, which I'm doing rather badly. There we go, let's pull that off. And then if I go up here as well, then I can do the. Is he following me? Yes, he is. I mean, he kind of has to follow me. But hopefully, he'll go over that far too quickly and, and lose me. He does know about that this trip. Yes, he has. Ooh. Oh, he's probably going to come down that ramp, though. Ah, I'm not... God, the AI are a lot more aggressive than I'm used to today. There's Pete having a um, a bit of a moment. Oh, God. These AI are really have, really have it out for me. Also, I'm not doing very well at just, you know, driving. But, yeah, the AI are being a lot more... I feel like they're being a lot more aggressive than normal. Now, granted, driving the wrong way up a motorway... Oh, there we go. It's... Um, the aggressions work to my favour this time. Uh, driving the wrong way up a motorway isn't the best way to make people happy with you. Um, but still, having them, having the, I feel like those cars were pulling out in front of me a lot more than they normally do, um, and the ones that were after they rammed me, there were other cars that were being a lot more generally aggressive about not getting, not pulling out of the way, which is a little bit weird. I. 
I know there's been a fairly major update to the GTA game recently, but I I doubt if they've update if they've changed something quite so sort of fundamental to the feel of the game as that. Okay, I'm going to switch to this car behind me because that's another coupe. It's a bit similar to the one I've just got out of, but it's a pretty good car. It's a jackal, in fact. Yes, that's good. Uh, yeah, that turned around quite nicely when I wanted it to. Um, so I think this is a good one to have. Let's actually drive on a thing that is, really is a lane. And now I'm going to head down into the um, into the into the ghetto to go to, to go off to the next checkpoint. So, so I was saying, yes, the the cars have been behaving. It feels like they're behaving a little bit differently, but I have to admit it's been a couple of weeks since I've played any of this, so um, it could just be that. Oops. <laughs> it could just be that I've forgotten how the game works. I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll go across and oh, I'm in the, no, I'm in the wrong lane for that. I was going to say maybe I'll go across another um, block before I head down because purple's just driven past me here, but I think I want to just go and oh, I'm going to try and obey some traffic laws for once. That was a bit of a lumpy turn. If I go right here, though, then I can go into the jet ghetto at the next... Uh, I think this is just a go. Right turn on red sort of thing. Um, yeah, if I go into the ghetto here, then I can wiggle my way over there. That's <laughs> purple again. I'm sure I just saw him on the last, um, last junction. Oh, and orange. Green as well to complete the set? No? No, maybe not. Um, yeah, if they're all around here, maybe I, yeah, I'm starting to wish I had gone down the last uh, the last entrance, to be honest. But I guess we'll uh, see how this goes. Come on, little um, is that a ruiner? Whatever it was, it seems to have got Tristan's attention. So I'm okay with that. We go, please. I find it a bit suspicious that Tristan seems to be waiting at a traffic light. <laughs> the hunters aren't. I don't expect hunters to, you know, wait at red traffic, what red lights. But I'm going to carry on following this other car. See how that guy just went through that red light. Shit, Dick. You hear me? Shit, Dick. He hasn't hit me yet. He's parked right in front of me. This makes me paranoid that he's waiting for reinforcements to arrive. Or he's just suspicious of me. Oh, and there's, there's Pete. So now there's two of them. I don't want them to box me in. Oh, this is tense. No, he's getting out of the car. I can't, I can't hang around when he's getting out of the car. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very close. I've just gone fourth at the opposite end of my I went second just before close. Three. Fourth just outside close. He's very close. Yeah, I've got three then close. That car there was super suspicious. Oh, it's not. I regret firing east in it. I regret firing somewhere around there. I'm suspecting this, this car. Yeah, I saw that too, uh, Tristan. I, I had hit him before that. So, unless you saw it before I hit it. That's, yeah, that's, that's a player. player. That's it. Yep. Uh, passing. Five more. There is a guy who chased the second car, which did it like a level 80 at the point. Uh, did you get a good look at the driver? No, I didn't. Uh, he's in a convertible. It's a male driver, but I have subsequently dropped everything I saw. Gone onto the highway. Uh, uh, heading west. Oh, he's going for his jump to go randomly wherever. He doesn't know where. Oh, what is with the AI today? Yep, he's taken the... the uh, that's going to come off. 
Oops, that's five ways. Take on some five ways. Catch him first. I've got him, he's doubled back on the highway. Okay, use one lower. Okay, fine. Just right. Yeah. No, uh, he's in a vertical. Black and vertical. Player model is a uh, kind of gangster guy. Short uh, crop, black hair, gold chain. Skin color? Uh, dark. That's and a black color, tank yeah. top by the looks of it. He switched over there, Pete. Yeah. Side. Where are you guys next to Highway heading west. East. west. East. East. Yeah. Didn't see where he went. Uh, I have a feeling he bubbled off there. Yeah, I might have him. Uh, edge, edge of the ghetto, where are we? Uh, by the strip club. I'm not sure though, I haven't. Ryan investigated the driver, the postman. I was suspicious of a different car. Heading over. Just from looking at character panel. Well, I think that is. I still suck at the ghetto. You're right, by the petrol Being station. So I think it's around here. You're near Ring of Fire? Yes. Yes, on, I see on, you. On the junction of Ring of Fire. I see you. Which car? The yeah. one you're blocking? Uh, the one by my left door. But I don't. I don't think that is him, given he's not reacting. Um, Sometimes he does try it. No, that's him. Got him. Excellent. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel for some more GTA Manhunt checkpoint. I'm. Um, I've noticed that the first checkpoint is up in North Vinewood, so I thought I'd try and get there quickly. In the hope that I can, um, oh well, I was going to try and get there quickly and that, and uh, try and take it before the hunters were really ready for me. But I've now trashed my car, so I need to change it. Uh, however, there is a convenient um, coupe there, so I'm going to grab that one. Fell that will do. It's not the best of the coupes, but it's yeah, better than better than having a damaged ruiner. But then, what isn't better than having a damaged car? Uh, if the door would close, that'd be nice. There we go. Right, so I thought I'd try and get up there fairly quickly and see if I could try and catch the hunters a bit off their guard. I mean, it's not the best one to try to get to quickly because they start by the casino, which is only just over there. However, and I start in ghetto, so it's a bit of a, a, um, a run for me to try and get up here and get there first. So there's no chance of that happening. But if I'm reasonably quick, then maybe, I don't know. To be honest, I've with the with the crash and having sat at these lights for about half an hour, um, that's no longer re particularly relevant, I don't think. So I'm probably <laughs> um, we'll just see how it goes when I get up there. So this is North Vinewood. Now I can't remember exactly where in North Vinewood it is. So if I'm going to stop here, I'll have a quick look at the map. Oh no, I'm not going to stop here. Wow, lights actually synced properly. <laughs> if only they could do that in real life as well. Uh, ooh. And, oh no, this is straight on. And that was mostly a green light. So I think, yes, it's it's probably, if I turn left here, that'll take me straight to the checkpoint. So, let's try that. Was that NPC actually talking directly to me? That's rather creepy. <laughs> right, okay, so the checkpoint is two blocks away down this main road. Now the hunters know that I don't really like driving along main roads to approach checkpoints because there tend to be too many hunters whiffling up and down them looking for trying to work out how far away I am. So this is relatively unusual behaviour for me. Um, however it is also risky because there's a reason it's unusual behaviour. But there's the checkpoint, not too far away. It's a car pulling out of a labour, that's unusual. Um, I'm definitely going to stick with traffic along here because a hunter could pop up at any time from anywhere. That car's got a door left open. I wonder if that's one we were playing around with earlier that just got abandoned there and then forgotten about. I don't know. So there's lots of cars around me here. That's a sort of a two-edged sword. Because for one thing, 
it means there's lots of cars around and therefore more distractions, more vehicles for the hunters to look at if they get sus if they if they reckon I'm in this area. But on the flip side, a lot of cars being around is kind of a sign that there's a player around. And there's Mike having a go at some cars over there. So it's not 100% a good thing. Right, so here we are, here at the checkpoint. Now we've introduced a new feature recently, where in order to take the checkpoint, I have to press a button on the controller. Um, and, th and that means I can sit here for as long as I want, even though I'm currently inside the checkpoint. Though. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Did I, did I take that or not? I didn't take the checkpoint, because I pressed the wrong button on the controller, because I'm an absolute Muppet. So I'm going to head away a little bit. <laughs> then I'm going to get to this junction here, and I'm going to turn around. Now, I'm going to claim, if anyone asks, that was completely deliberate. I saw how many hunters there were around, and I, not panicked, but didn't feel comfortable taking the checkpoint. So I thought I'd turn around and return for a second go at it. So, here we go. Take two. And I'm going to turn right at the lights this time. So there's an orange hunter. That's interesting. Mike seems to be driving a winter. That's not like him. Um, okay, actually, I'm not going to turn. Um, right at that checkpoint because there's a uh, a load of hunters around. Okay, so there's a hunter lurking in front of this dump truck. Oh no, he's, he's gone. Right. Okay. Good. Because I saw I saw purple lurking on the other side of this truck and was a bit worried about that. Um, but I think they've now decided they've missed me and gone off for the next one. So that's good. I think I've got away with this. That's one checkpoint down, four more to go. Okay, so the next checkpoint, I don't know where it's going to be. I have to have a 30 second cooldown before it tells me where it is. And that's to allow the hunters a type, bit of a chance to get over there. Okay, so it's oil fields. Right. That's quite a long way. That's a long drive. I'm tempted to steal a sports car for the drive over there. <laughs> but maybe that's a bit gauche. And I don't think I've got much of a chance of getting there first. Um, the whole point of the cooldown is to, there's a car parked in the middle of the junction here. The whole point of the cooldown is to if, give the hunters a good chance to get there first. So let's have a think about the um, approach to this next checkpoint. Uh, we've got some landmarks marked on, on the map here, which is a bit odd, but um, never mind. Uh, that's presumably just left over from the previous game that didn't go properly. So I could try and get onto this highway up here and then come down that road. Was that a orange hunter mobile going past there? I'm not sure. That's a green one. Oh, for goodness sake. Peter's got better at spotting me. And okay, I, I reckon I was I was spotted because I sat at that junction for ages. Now on the plus side, I have been I haven't had any I have had one of my tires taken out. I'm doomed. Oh, that was not how I meant to take that corner. Okay, there we go. Is he still behind me? He's not still behind me. Good. I might have got away there. Just through sort of sheer luck and panache. <laughs> General jamminess. Okay, I'm going in completely the wrong direction now. But that's probably a good thing because of the state of my car. Oh no, is that an orange hunter car following me? I'm not sure. It's definitely an orange car. It's dropping back though, so I suspect it's just a natural orange car that spawned in. Oh, this car's horrible with a tyre missing. Right, so what I'm going to do about this, I'm going to come off here, because trying to change cars on the on the highway never goes well. I'm going to switch to something good over here. I'm not sure what. Oh, yeah, let's have this felt, so that'll get me over there quickly. And if the hunters are still near me, it'll allow me to get away, because the felts are properly quick. So if I now get this back onto the highway... I really like the Feltzer. It's a, and it's, it's a sports car, as as you can see. Um, it's so it's really quick. It handles well. Um, and it's yeah, it's, it's just a really good car. And for that reason, I'm not allowed to use it in uh, as a. Um, I'm not allowed to use it for actually taking checkpoints. The game simply won't let me. There is a, a feature built into it where if, it, if I try and drive through a checkpoint and I'm in a sports car or a supercar, it'll pop up a thing saying, bad prey, don't do that, you're not allowed to, or words to that effect. However, 
there's nothing to stop me using this and the sheer speed it allows me for getting over to the oil fields and then switching into a better car over there. Now, what I can't, well, what I could in theory do is drive all the way over there at this sort of speed, then get out, yoink the checkpoint, and then jump in and drive off again. I could do that. The game will allow me to. However, that would definitely count as cheating. So what I'm going to do instead is drive over this way. Yes. There is still one of the hunters ahead of me, actually, so it's not quite as cheaty as it would otherwise have been. Um, but what I'm going to do is get over here, somewhere away from the oil fields, and then I'm going to change into another vehicle around here. Um, not a truck. Trucks are terrible. I've tried trucks before. They never work. Um, you feel like a truck should be an absolutely fantastic vehicle for this sort of thing, because you could just barge straight through absolutely anything that gets in your way. What's that? Oh, alright, I'll take the jeep. <laughs> no! Do as you're told. Steal or something useful. There's another one of exactly the same car. What is that? Oh, it's a Phoenix. Not good. It's not particularly quick, but it's also not too bad. Okay. So I've clearly, I reckon I've probably put the wind up the hunters a bit there by um, pegging it over here at that sort of speed. Because they've got, they, they knew I was out there and then suddenly their positions would have gone up or their their, their awareness of, where, of my position will have plummeted. So they know that I've made a quick drive across the city and they're going to be wondering how on earth I've done that. Um, but I got into third place before I, before I approached this checkpoint. So I'm pretty happy that I'm not I'm not being unfair I'm not cheating essentially I think they've spotted me again somehow I don't know what's giving me away last last time they said it was they recognized my character model um, They're not following. Maybe they think I'm just a freaked out AI then, and that was a sort of a suitably convincing retreat. Oh no, there's, still, there's Pete following me. Um, and an orange one as well. Okay, they are actually behind me. Time to put my foot down. <laughs> and a purple one as well, just to complete the set. Oh joy. And... Oh, it was a... Big smash. I was hoping he'd um, overshoot me in the old classic end or breaking manoeuvre thing. Um, it was not to be. Uh, there is a checkpoint here. Let's try and take this as I go through it and see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> Oop, smack. Ha! That was pulled off quite well. I managed to um, tactically crash, shall we say. Um, it wasn't 100% deliberate, but I am going to take some of the credit for it. I'm going to take credit for reacting well and quickly to it. Let's go back through this uh, landmark checkpoint again. <laughs> okay, so Pete is still behind me. He's going to be giving Tristan a running commentary of where I am, so that's going to help Tristan catch up with me again, potentially. Uh, they all seem to be driving Windsors today, which is not good for my chances, because that's a fast car. Oh, and also a very hard-hitting car, because it weighs about a million tons. Um, Oh, and I'm getting stuck on everything again. Ah! Do something useful. Bloody hell. No, not kick. Ah! Oh. That was infuriating. That was... <sighs> Words fail me. Are you fourth, Pete? I'm fourth. I'm close at the moment. Okay. Uh, he is potentially close second. to that. Just one second. Um, yeah, third, second, close. He is first Definitely. then. I'm, I'm fourth, yeah, so he's, he's going to be one he's of these. one of these cars then, basically. Yep. That one stopped very sharply. Challenge it. 
I'm He's got it. Here. No, has he? No. no I've got a silver one here that was being kind of sus. Decided if this person's panicking enough to be here. Uh, is it, uh, any of you fourth? I am. Close. Oh, I've just gone third, fourth. Where's the close boundary? I don't know if he's playing mind games. <laughs> I've got a black car taking off at speed south from the checkpoint. Yeah, they hit me. He's taken it. He's got it. It could have been that one then, Mike, because that would have been about five seconds. Are you still Are you with following it? following it? Uh, passenger's dead. Oh, occupant's dead. Oh, uh, okay. So that wasn't it. Darn. I think I might have had him. Um, black convertible heading south. Um, I couldn't get out of my car fast enough. From. Uh, sorry, bear me one second. Heading kind of towards Penrith building. He's probably put a few turns in by now. He's miles away. Oh, he's, he's heading in at speed then. Get a move on towards the checkpoint. <laughs> he got down there very fast. Maybe. I take it I'm swapping for a second as well. Uh, I'm third at the moment. Second now. Uh, what yeah, are you I'm now, Mike? Third, so just north of Oilfields. Okay, he's close then. He's first then. Who's it's a random guy standing in the middle of a junction. Yeah, I go fourth and close, so he is close. Uh, this Phoenix will start moving again. Although actually, in fairness, Lawrence wouldn't be that enough to do that if he thought we were looking. Oh no, that 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 was a J turn. Did you get a little character battle? No. That that's very AI behaviour. No, very non AI behaviour in it. On your last feet. Thank you. Get up. Damage his car a bit, he's still moving though. Uh, going yeah. to the ghetto following the tram lines, I think these are. Uh, yeah, I'm just passing about a block behind you guys. Can just see okay. you can just... Oh, stopped, he's going to turn right there. Yeah. Got him. Follow the road, he's taking a right again. That and a right again. Lines. Yeah, following rail lines. Don't you see you face at the junction. Fast rail. Fast. I'm glad I can slow down there and uh, take <laughs> a right at the end. Heading west now towards Maze Bank. Sorry, I may have dropped the track That's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm playing with Doubling back. Nicely done. I'm not facing the wrong way though. <laughs> he's coming back your way. No, he's not. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> 